Hey YouTube, in this video, for for the, those of you who are new to smoking cigars and want to know how to light, cut, and smoke a cigar properly, I'm going to do a video on it. had a couple of you guys give me, ask me if I could do one, and I said, and I figured, hey, why the hell, why not? I'm going to be smoking a JM's Dominican... This is a robusto size. And what you want to do with these is these smell good. Now cigars, they're delicate. And what you want to do is to cut them, don't use your teeth, and don't use a knife. Because that'll just because right here in the top of the cigar is called that head. And that's when they roll the cigar, they crimp it together, and that's what keeps the cigar intact. And once you and to cut a cigar, what you want to use is I prefer a double bladed guillotine cutter from Zycar. This cutter cost me about forty dollars. It's from Zycar, and they have a lifetime warranty. So like, if the blades get dull or the cutter just gets damaged anyway, ship it back to them. They'll give you a new one or fix it for free. But anyway, what you want to do is you want to cut it right around there because if you cut any lower than that the cap you lose most of the cap and there's a potential for the cigar to become unraveled and then you basically just get a bunch of tobacco in your mouth and that just ruins it so what you want to do is you want to get a good cigar cutter or you get like a like I said I prefer a double blade guillotine I mean there are ones that only have one blade there are some that are punches which, which just leave a little hole in the top of the cigar but Anyway, like I said, what you want to do is just cut right along there. Like so. Sorry about that. Brush off. Any of the excess tobacco and it leaves a good, nice, clean cut. And to light the cigar, you don't want to use like a Zippo lighter with a lighter fluid because if you light it with a normal Zippo lighter, like the, the smell of the lighter fluid, it tastes like it, not taste, but it smells nasty. And if you light a cigar with that, the cigar will absorb the smell of it, and you just don't want to smoke a cigar with that kind of flavoring in it, or taste for that matter, or, or smell. So. God, it's cold out today. <sighs> but anyway, what you want to do is use a butane lighter. Now, I have a butane torch. And butane is an odorless, tasteless gas. Which is obviously flammable. <laughs> or like, or if you don't want to use a torch, you can use like a Bic lighter. Because those run on butane too. But what you don't want to do is you don't want to use... You also don't want to use a candle because... The wax particles from the candle can get in the cigar and it can, I guess, clog it up, but it just tastes bad. So, or a tr more traditional route is just to use matches. And, but if you use a match, when you first strike it, allow the sulfur and phosphorus to burn off and then light it. But anyway, on to lighting the cigar. Now, what you want to do is you don't want to jam the lighter right into the cigar because it'll burn the crap out of the tobacco and then it'll just taste like shit excuse my language but anyway it will so what you want to do is you don't like I said you don't want to hold it right into the flame and what you want to do is there we go you just want to hold it right the flame right below the cigar and slowly roll it slowly roll the cigar And what you want to do first is you want to get the edges seared. Like I said, you want the and you only want to hold this the lighter so, this far away from the cigar because you only want the tobacco to self ignite. And that's what you want it to do. And what you wanted to do is you see how it's red. You you want the whole foot of the cigar to be red. You don't you really don't want to have any black spots. Because that ensures that your cigar 
is fully lit. Good. Now to smoke it, you don't want to go. You don't want to continuously puff it. And when you puff it, you don't want to inhale it. Basically, when you puff it, it's like taking a sip of water through a straw. You pull the water in your mouth and then you just spit it out. Where it's the exact same thing. You just take. You just take the smoke in your mouth, get the flavors. And then just blow it out. You don't want to inhale it because it'll make you sick. And you don't want to continuously puff it because that'll overheat the cigar and it'll just taste like crap. And what you want to do usually is depending on the cigar, you usually want to take about two to three puff two to three puffs per minute. And that ensures that the cigar stays lit and if your cigar goes out or something or the burns all wonky and crap what you want to do is to touch it up you simply light your lighter and you don't want to like I said jam it in there you just want to roll it around the cigar just enough so that the the wrapper catches and then to and if your cigar goes out and you want to relight it you do the same thing you just gently hold it about yay far away and that relights it and this in this James Dominican has a Connecticut wrapper and it's a good medium mild mild to medium bodied cigar and th this is a short about a good this is about a good 45 minutes stick. And if you get good enough at cigar, what you can do is you can do what's called retrohaling, which is you can, when you take the smoke in your mouth, you can um, blow the smoke out through your nose, although it stings at first. I'll give it a shot just to show you. Wow, I actually didn't burn my nose. <laughs> Because I'm getting used to it. But yeah, and what you want to do is, as you're smoking it, you want it, you don't want to tap the ash off continuously. Because it'll just leave a mess. What you want to do is you want to allow it to get about yay far in the cigar and then just gently, and you don't want to like, sometimes you can just do a gent, gentle tap and it'll just whack off the ash. Or what you want to do is if you have an ash or something, you just want to gently brush, just brush off the ash and it'll keep going. And you just want to, like I said, to smoke it, you just want to take a couple of puffs every, like, three times a minute. And that keeps the cigar nice and cool. Because if you smoke it, like, constantly, you just keep, continuously keep taking puffs, it'll get really hot all the way down the cigar and it'll just ruin the taste. And when you put it out, you don't want to jam it down like you would a cigarette. What you want to do is you just want to set it down and let it die. Because if you jam it and swish it and stuff, it just will smell like crap. Yeah, this is good and medium. If you want if you're a beginner for cigar smoking and you want a good cigar, I'd recommend this. It's the JM's Dominican. They're handmade from the Dominican Republic, I think. Well, duh, because they're Dominican. <laughs> uh, but it's a Connecticut wrapper, so it's a nice, mild cigar. It doesn't have a lot of strength to it. It's nice and mellow. So, I hope this was helpful to you guys. And until next time, see ya.